Upcoming artist, you gotta watch this way in here. She can be getting on real bad for crop over, but I can tell you, no, she is on Blood's album. I am on Blood's album. I'm doing a collab with Lorenzo called Uneasy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't care what they say, I live on this day. It's my time to break. <laughs> when you see me up in every bed, it's a part of me. Head to see, I'm not soaking with the Hi, good night, crop over TV here. What's your name? And you're from Monster Peace, right? Yes, that's right. I heard you talk about Crop Tita Poppin for a lot now and you've been growing. So could you tell me about your work this year? Well, this year I want to do four songs. So far I've released one, Rum is my lover. Kind of a mixture of Trini culture and Bajan culture in the mix as well, you know me. I mean? Um, Raga Soka type. It's doing well so far, only a week out. So far it's number seven on charts and that kind of stuff. Trini Jungle Juice has me at um, number five on the charts, so it's looking good, looking good. What do you think about the season so far? Is it is it a, um, going great so far? Do you and or have you been expecting more? Well, right now the season is nice because it start early. Um, people coming out enjoying themselves. Bajans are really into the soccer this year, and I like that. You know what I mean? So we're gonna have a long season. Season's gonna be nice. Trust me, good season. The girls them one. What? she want? The girls them one. Oh, she want? The girls them one. Oh, she want? The girls them one. The girls she want an extension cord. Over TV, we're here with Mario. So, can you tell us about your event for this year? Uh, UV celebrated the sunrise this year for 2011. We go astronomical, you know, we're gonna extend the hours a little bit. We're gonna probably try about two more hours for all inclusive package as usual. You know, you got the buffet menu, lots of food to eat, lots of drinks, surprise artists, surprise DJs, affordable price. Remember, it's all inclusive. Yeah, for the experience, everything else complimentary. Okay, so this experience, where can people sign up to get for this experience, or where can they call or go on Facebook or something? Well, people are already reserving the ticket, so um, you can email us at ilovehd at gmail.com, and our box offices are going to be um, Jeans Link, Urban Vibes, and Strawberries Boutique. Okay, so that's good. So, anybody, tickets are limited, and yeah. people need to get their tickets. Quick, 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 early, right? Early, early. All right. I'm on the end of May. End of May. Yeah. All right, so when is, when is the event going to take place? 70 for July. We're going to go start at 3 a.m. It's usually supposed to finish at 9, but this year we're going to go to about 11 a.m. Well, I'm still in the studios right now, you know, I'm trying to get my head together. I'm kind of caught up with, with um, you know, trying to balance my music with my, with my studies because I'm at the University of the West Indies. But I mean, so far the music this year has been great. And I think, you know, I think it's, it's, I think it's a good vibe, you know, falling off of last year, which was a great year for music in Barbados, you know, so I'm expecting that this year will be great. Okay, so best producers are you working with? Well, Red Boys, you know, that's the only two that I've, I've worked with in the last couple of years, you know, so the Red Boys, definitely. Okay. What kind of music can we expect from you? What kind of vibe can we expect to hear from Don Trent this I mean, year? The normal vibe, you know, Raga Soka, you know, that sort of thing. You know, the, the more groovy, good, you know, the good side of music. Yeah. Anything for the ladies? Definitely. I mean, that's, that's all I do. Crop Over TV is here in Brewster's Road, and we have with us Rico, who is a diehard fan. What keeps you coming back to Brewster's Road every single year and every fan? Now, I have to say the vibes. The family, every, every time we walk around, you know, it's like family here. Uh, the music, the DJs, everybody is just awesome every year, every single year. Right, so what do you think about the first two limes Brewster's Road has hosted this year so far? Uh, but one thing about Brewster's Road is that there's always a problem with space. You know, more people come in every single year. But generally, I think it's been rather good so far. Um, we got big turn out every week. I think we're doing pretty good so far. All right. So anything else you can tell anybody who's not here at this awesome fest to tell, get them to come back again next week? What I'm missing out. If you're in at Brewster's Road, you're in partying. Hi, Onika. We're here from Crop Over TV and you're in Brewster's Road. Are you enjoying yourself? I am having a blast. Thank you. 
And are you looking forward to any other events for Crossover? I'm going to everything. I'm a Trinidadian, so I'm in everything. You're a Trinidadian, so you came in just for Crossover? No, I usually come in all the time, and I live here sometimes as well. So I plan to be in everything, as I say. I want this. All right. So any music you are, are loving so far? Any particular artist? How far to come for any future? Um, I'm look I really, really, really like Blood, and I also like Biggie Irie. He's fantastic. I think he can go to Trinidad next year with that song as Google Soka, and he can possibly win too as well. All right. So you, can you tell any your Trinidadian um, peers back home anything about crop over to encourage them to come here and enjoy this? Well, I have five people coming in from crop over. I have two aunts, two sisters, and a cousin coming in. So that should tell you, and they've been doing that for the last five years. So I always spread the word. Crop over is fantastic. As long as you have a good crew and the music is sweet, drinks, everything good. So we're here with who everybody knows as Swaggy, a diehard Brewster's Road um, fan. What keeps you coming back to Brewster's Road Crew Fest every single time? All the women as you're walking out so bad, yeah? So all the women, so you're seeing a good set turnout this year? Yep. Alright, so what are you thinking about the lines so far? Well, the lines is because God plays count the lines called a free ride. But I like the fest better though. I, I, you like the fest better? So which particular fest you looking forward to Bru from Brewster's Road this year? All, I don't miss none. You don't miss any at all? None. So, so everybody that coming through that in Barbados and stuff, even if they're coming from over and see the need to come to Brewster's Road fest. Yep. Alright, so what's your, what's your name and what's the name of your band? I am Andre Yard, band leader of Faction Juve Rave for this year's 4 Day Morning. Alright, and what, can, what you can tell people to look forward to in your band? Well, you can look forward for having the, the, the ultimate experience you can ever experience when it comes to 4 day morning, partying, mud, paint, drinks, and just having a good time. Alright, that sounds good. So how can people get in contact with you? Where can they find this band, register, anything like that? You can find us at Golden Sands Hotel or you can call myself at 244-9433. You can email us at oasisentertainment at gmail.com. Or you can log on to our website, www.oasisentertainment.com. Crop Over TV, another Brewster's Road Crew fan and a fan of Crop Over in general. We're here with Shirt Hat. What can you tell tourists coming in and anybody coming into Barbados about Crop Over and which best are saying for the season? Okay. Honestly, I'm going to tell them I'm all. Once they got the money, come out to every single thing possible. Don't miss anything, but of course, they have to come to Brewster's Road Fest. It is a must. You can do the four day because you know tourists like the different types of you know culture and stuff like that. So they can do the four day. But otherwise I'm trying to come to everything. And you said I heard you saying that when somebody asked you if you are the first Brewster's Road Crew Fest, you said of course. Do you ever miss any Brewster's Road Crew Fest? Last year I missed one. I had the flu. And I still wanted to come, but I don't plan to miss any this year. I've been taking my vitamins. So what can we expect from Chelsea Boys this year? Well, for Crop Over, we have some lines coming up. Mm -hmm. But the highlight of our Crop Over calendar is Pop of Color Cruise. That's Pop of Color 2. You need to be on that cruise. That all is right. the cruise to end all cruises. All right. So we have some people who may not be here for Crop Over. So what can you tell them to get them here for Crop Over with really the Chelsea Boys? What are doing being foolish is get here for Crop Over, yeah? All right. So anything special, anything else special you have coming up for Crop Over that you want any little detail that you want anybody to know? Puff of Color 2. 2. The biggest, baddest, bestest cruise for Crop Over. The only cruise to be on for Crop Over. Hey, we're here for Crop Over TV here with Jamila. She's one of the dancers here in Barbados. What can you tell us about the music so far? Is it enticing you to want to get on stage and dance? Yeah, definitely. Especially Blood's, um, well, Blood's new song and also um, Work by Lauren. For sure. Alright, so you are liking the music so far. So who are you looking forward to, to hear from, from the, for the season? Anybody that hasn't released as yet that you're looking forward to hearing? And also Lauren. Um, I'm gonna let you hear more from the ring. I'm sure he has more than this verse. Oh yo 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 yo
It's gonna be good. Um, like, like we're out of the blocks early. The people, is, the people are feeling the vibes, and um, I expect to have a really nice season like last year. And hopefully, you know, a lot of successes are, are on top of it. So you work with a lot of artists on this soca body this year's compilation coming out to Redhead Studios. Yes, definitely. So tell me something, some more about the artists that you work with. Well, yeah, I've worked with a lot of the artists that I've worked with before, such as Mikey, Brett, um, Alison Hines. I've worked with D2, Contone, you know, and I, got, I have some new artists as well. Um, a lot of ladies, we've got Missy, we've got Nikki Zan, and we're chasing hot this year. So, I mean, the album is really, really solid and we're looking really, really good. So what keeps you coming back and um, bringing all these new artists on to Crop Over scene? Love, 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 love. I am in love with music, I'm in love with Crop Over. And you know, I, I do it because of the love, first of all. Um, we don't make a lot of money because Obviously, so CD sales are down, but we like to get the artists out there, get them on the shows, you know, and make sure that they can make a name for themselves and some money in the long run. Okay, somebody like you, the reigning king, went to Trinidad and represented Barbados in the Soka Monarch. How was that experience for you? That was an interesting experience. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the performance on the stage. Everything went as planned, you know, the lighting, the band, the dancers, everything. And we really, really enjoyed ourselves. So we can look forward to Blood coming back and defending his crown strong this year? Definitely this year, this Soka buddy! Alright, and Soka Cartel will be on the road with Blood again. Soka Cartel to the world! Alright. Hi, it's your girl Queen T. Last year you knew me for Wiggle and Dip, and this year I'm coming with Don't Hold Me Back. You can look for me in the celebration time tent. You can look for me maybe at Cahabla Bar and the other coming events. The reason I chose the tune Don't Hold Me Back is because at proper time, we tend to have a lot of different little things that might want to hold us back. Partying, getting all bad, walking up, whatever it is. But don't hold me back signifies that nothing at all should hold you back from enjoying Crop Over season. Thanks, and it's a girl queen to you. Crop Over TV is here with Tremaine, one of the members of Brewster's Road Crew. Y'all lost your crew Crop Over lens. What do, you have you, what do you think about them so far? Overwhelming. The people came out to support, and I'm enjoying it. Um, Everybody seems to be enjoying themselves. I'm happy. All right, so is there anything special coming from Brewster's Road Crew this year? Well, I know everybody looking forward for 24, but we will not have 24 this year. We'll do that next year, but we have something big to replace that this year. Okay, and um, we know Brewster's Road Crew is um, famous for all their hype fest, their energetic fest, going to morning, affordable prices just for the people. So is there anything you can tell anybody that will encourage them to come out to Brewster's Road Crew Fest? Well, I mean, these lines are just a warm up. Everybody has concerns about why we're closing at 3 30. But I always say, if you got something good and you want to buy your way, we got something happening, it's coming soon. We can give you all time. We will go to morning, just wait for the fest. This is just a warm up line, so just hold on for that. Morning, for the fest for sure, we're going to morning. And for our viewers who are not, unfortunately, not in Barbados, where can they catch live streaming at Brewster's Road um, events? Well, we'll be, we'll be streaming live and look up for Brewster's Road TV. You can't miss it. It's unfortunate y'all can't be here, but we'll try our best to share to the world. All right, so you're going to look up for Crop Over TV streaming Brewster's Road Crew events. If you can't be here, that's the best place for you to view any type of event here for Crop Over. They're going to be energetic, you're going to be hype, and as you said, you're going to be something you're going to be have to look forward to. For sure. I wake up one morning. TV was jamming, yeah! Stay tuned to Crop Over TV, you know how it does go. We keeping it live and alive all